Hey everybody, it's Color Farty and welcome back to more Harvest Moon 64. So, tomorrow's gonna be sunny, excellent. Actually, not really excellent. I really like it when it rains in spring and waters my crops for me. Hey! Oh yeah, it's this guy! You're the guy restoring the farm, right? Hard work, eh? Let me introduce myself. I'm a botanist. Well, actually I own the flower shop, but I travel around a lot. Dad! Oh, Poppery, my sweet little daughter! Come on, Dad, I'm not a kid anymore. Stop it. You've grown prettier, Poppery. Mom's waiting to see you. Hurry on home. Oh yes, that's right. I'm on my way. My dad, the Vegabond. He knows all about plants, so if you have any questions, just ask him. So, well, see you later. So that's Basil. He's Papori's father, as you probably could tell. He owns the flower shop. He is one of the NPCs that is not around all year. For example, I believe he's only here from the 15th of spring until the 5th day of fall. And then he's absent from the game at all, uh, for the rest of the time. So he's really only here in the game for about 50% of the game. And one of the requirements to get a power nut is you've got to be really good friends with him. So... I recommend giving him a gift as much as you possibly can, and also befriending his wife while he's away. So, yeah, that's another thing we're going to have to start doing. Any mail? The local horse race will be held on the 17th. We'll accept applications on the 16th. Green Farm News. It's Green Ranch, not Green Farm. Oh, I know what I'm going to show off today. It's a rainy day, so it's the perfect opportunity to do that. So, you, uh, there's actually a part of the, uh, map that's supposed to, we're supposed to be cut off from. Uh, where, like, the bridge is out on Moon Mountain, and normally it's supposed to be there to connect, uh, to the rest of Moon Mountain. Hang on. Thank you! Animals like rain, but hate to get wet. See ya. Alright, they speak perfect English again. Sweet! But yeah, there's supposed to be a bridge at the top where there are the free stumps that leads to the rest of Moon Mountain. It's broken, so we're not supposed to be able to go onto the other side. However... There's an extra little thing programmed in that allows us to do that. Press A next to that tree, and we can climb up! And then it shoots us out right here, so now we can actually explore the rest of Moon Mountain. There's hardly anything up here, like, there are no, like, goods to gather, but there is a little building right here. With two NPCs. Oh, what a surprise to see someone from so far away. Nobody's visited since the bridge broke. Living's been no problem, but it's been lonely. This is Barley. He's the old man here. Oh, the color farm. Doing fine, huh? Good. Ho-ho, I haven't had a customer in a long time. In long time, I'm sorry. How about some dumplings? I've never seen your face before. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so forgetful. I can't remember her name, she's just kind of the old woman. But rather, what we want to do is give her some edible grass. When the spring comes, I gather herbs for my dumplings. You should try making some. It's good for the body to eat bitter herbs in the spring. Now we get the herb rice cake recipe. You can only get this recipe in spring, which is why I wanted to do it. Also, it's a day where I've got a lot of time, and I couldn't carry the edible grass back to my farm anyways, so... Might as well make the most of it. And when you want to get down, just press A near here, and we can jump on back down. I just realized she looks a lot like Tiki from Fire Emblem. Okay, I hear your wish. Keep working hard. I will. Okay, kitchen requires 5,000 G, 450 pieces of lumber. Oh, jeez. The gold's gonna be no problem, it's gonna be the lumber. Oh, and because it's Monday and raining, we can't see Ellie either, because the bakery's locked. Well, let's go in here. Hello! See ya, keep up the good work. Okay, very, Papari is very dismissive of us. Plants, they grow back no matter how much you trample them. I can't help loving them. Hey dude, welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, thank you very much. Let's both try our best. I plan to. Yep, there's a big heart mark on the 15th of the month. That corresponds to the day that her husband comes back. Hello, it's so gloomy on rainy days. I feel like a slug. She's very per particular about the weather. She, honestly, this lady pretty much only likes sunny spring days. 
Well, take care. Okay, uh, you know what? No. Ar Artie, save your money. Save your money, Artie. I want as much money as possible for the horse race, so... Oh, I just realized, Maria, the library's closed on Monday, so I really hope Maria's in her house, because otherwise, guess what? We can't see her. Yay, there she is. That's the daughter's room. Don't go in. She doesn't even call her daughter by her name. She doesn't even say my daughter. She says that's the daughter's room. <laughs> she is such a robot. She also, she technically has one other sprite in the game besides her default one, but it literally looks almost exactly the same. Hi, sweetie. Here's some cabbage. Are you off today? I'd be happy if you visited the library between jobs. It's closed today, Maria. Don't get me wrong, I am not criticizing your work ethic. You have probably the best work ethic in town. You, The library's open every day except Monday. Six days a week, that's amazing. It rains a lot. How are you? Seriously, she's a robot! Everybody loves the bar. I just realized I only ever go to the bar when it's raining. Hey, Karen! Okay, I love this! I'm so happy! Hello. Okay, she's gonna get angry if I talk to her some more, so never mind. Uh, you just say the same thing. Yeah, people in the bar have very repetitive dialogue. Oh, hey, it's Zack! This is the only place in the entire game where you can actually see him like a normal NPC and give him gifts and such. He's at the bar. Hey, working hard? I hope it'll be nice tomorrow. Seriously, Zack, you gotta tell me your workout regime. Don't talk to me. Regis! Oh, what, for me? Thank you. Sometimes rain sounds like the stiff Regis, you said this yesterday. Come on. He's even got, like, the purple suit like Regis. It's amazing. It's perfect. I come here to drink in the atmosphere more than the alcohol. It makes me want to talk about things I can't speak of in the daytime. Interpret that as you will. <laughs> Going on the rain, nobody cares. We're seen and in the rain. We're seen and in the rain. Haven't seen that movie, but it looks terrible. Shots fire. Donut day! I love Krispy Kreme. Yay, sunny tomorrow. Cool. Actually, I wouldn't have minded if tomorrow had rained, because guess what? Rick's is closed then anyways. But it would be the horse race. Hey! Hi, Artie. How are you doing? The local horse race will be held in this village school tomorrow. Why don't you come watch? I will. Well, goodbye. See you later. I should probably be taking a little better care of my horse. Oh boy, enter our chicken's name. Sweet. Um. Five Nights at Freddy's, anybody? Yeah, it's literally not even possible for you to enter the first horse race of the year. Like, even if you get the horse immediately, he will not be grown up by the time you, uh, can enter. I think he grows up, like, right afterwards. So tomorrow is an interesting festival. The horse race and the dog race behave differently than other festivals. They're the only festivals you want to arrive on time to. Because basically how it works is that there are going to be three different races throughout the day. The first one happens, like, as soon as the festival opens. The second one happens midday, and the third one happens, like, right as the festival's ending. So, yeah, you definitely want to make it there in time. It's Tuesday. Ellie should be in. Tuesday, Ellie. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Ellie will always be in the bakery. Alright, in other news... Hey, Rick! It's me, your best customer. Even though I haven't bought anything. Oh, thank you so much! Hi, how's it going? Sorry that my shop's closed so often. Yeah, Rick, it re it's really killing me. I would have had that music box fixed if you didn't close on rainy days. Hey, Maria. Here's your daily cabbage. Feels good to put... Oh, she's at a blue heart! Yes! Awesome, it's about time. Feels good to put the books away in order on the shelves. 
I'd be happy if you visited the library between jobs. Yeah. yeah. At last she's out of blue heart. All those goddess wishes have definitely been working in my favor. Cat. I wish I could get a cat in this. They're so adorable. Hi, Harris. Well, there's no... It's not Sunday! Why would you say that? Artie. Oh, I think this is Maria. Yes! You work so hard. Here, eat some of this. She brought me a chocolate bar. Oh, she's the best. Well, keep up the good work. She is the best. If there's a girl out there who's getting you chocolate bars, oh yeah. that That's the girl of your dreams right there. Well, I mean, not necessarily, but a girl that's that gets you chocolate, that that's probably a good sign. To do a special strike with the hammer, you have to hold it down until it, it, you get tilted back a little bit. Okay, actually, this might be all of it. We have cleared the farm! Yeah! <laughs> uh, Jack? Jack? Uh, you know that's not a waterbed, right? Okay, yeah, so tomorrow we want to be... We need to be in the town square... Probably... Yes! Silver watering can! So now we can water free crops at once and carry a lot more water. Like, I want to say we can carry 80 fiends of water as opposed to 40. It's about time that happened. Yay! And just think, if we, if we did not do this at night, constantly using the watering can, that would take... A lot longer, like you probably won't get the silver rain watering can until late summer. So yeah, that's a good idea. Welcome to horse race day! So we want to be in the square by 9.30. Basically because the first race starts at 10, and we need to talk to somebody in the town square to actually start betting on the horses. Yay! Tomorrow's gonna be sunny so we can actually talk to Rick again. Alright. So most important thing we need to do, feed our chickens, and then water our crops. Hey, Tobias. Oh, our cabbage has grown. Okay. Also, this uh, horse race and dog races do not end automatically after when they're done. Like, they don't force you to sleep without saving. They actually work differently. You can just walk back to your farm and do whatever you want afterwards. So that's pretty nice. Oh, I'm so glad we got the silver watering can. This especially makes watering just seeds a lot easier. Okay, I want to turn it Oh, darn it! It is 9 o'clock. We need to get to the horse race immediately. Shoot, shoot. I'm coming! If I miss the first horse race, I'm not sure if I'll reset or not. Oh, come on. Please don't miss it. Please don't miss it. Oh, no. It is such, such a long walk. I'm going to miss it. I'm not going to be able to bet. No! I was so close! First race is about to start. All participants should come to the gate. Darn it, I missed the first race. That's fine. It's not a huge deal. <laughs> there are, we're going to be doing, I think, five or six different horse races throughout this Let's Play, so missing... And each of those has three races, so if we miss just one race, not a big deal at all. Alright, white one. They're at the finish line. Also... It's totally random who wins. And like resetting will change who wins. And the winners are first place, Pickles spelled horribly wrong. Second place, Tatami. Very Japanese names. Oh, that was a times five too. That's pretty good. All right. Welcome to the horse race. Hey, Maria. Hello. That's all you say? Well, I need to make a decision here. Yeah, so these are like the teenage girls that kind of just come for like the special festival with the horse race. They are not normal NPCs. I'll definitely get a stuffed horse. Let's eat something. I'm hungry. Hey, this is my side job. It's fresh and tastes great. Oh, what do you sell? Hello, <laughs> you're not. Dude, good customer service. You need to look right at me. Come on. Looks like he's like, he's like, oh, what do you want? See, so we can get candy, fry, that's real descriptive, or corn. No thanks. Hey, you should buy something. They're good. I'm saving my money for a kitchen. 
So this is where we... Oh, yes! This is amazing. Okay. Oh, wow, this is so good. Okay, so basically how it works, there are six different horses in the race, and the number, ne the number next to them is the amount of money that gets... the amount of medals that get multiplied if that horse wins. So, for example, if we were to put five medals on Poyano and Poyano won, we would get five times 16 medals. That's great. So now, it costs 50G per medal to bet. And this is probably one of the most... No, this is probably the single most useful glitch in the entire game and one of the most well-known. So I have a hunch Inoki's going to win because generally the person with the lowest uh, number has a much higher chance of winning. So I'm going to put as much money as I possibly can on Inoki. So I'm going to put 77 medals on Inoki. That's going to be all my money. So now if I were to hit OK from here, then that would take my money and the bet would be placed. However, if you just push B to go back, you do not lose any money and yet the bet still gets placed. So this is a great way to get medals. When I was a kid, I didn't know what they were doing at the horse races, but they had cakes and drinks, so I figured it was a festival. Well, that's that's normal. I'm no good at sports. I envy your ability to ride the rate and race. I'm not in the race, dude. Hi, what will it be? We can get iced tea, milk, or a cookie. Nothing, please. Okay, well, maybe next time. He's more understanding. Our horse is racing. His name is Cliffguard. Root for him. Why aren't you racing? My horse is too small to ride. Oh, this is another couple that's only here for certain festivals. It should be starting soon. It's so exciting. When you bet on a race, it makes the watching all the more exciting, don't you think? That was a good race. It's hard to predict. If you race, I'll root for you. That was great, wasn't it? Cliffguard is a horse from the Green Ranch. It's a great horse, but unfortunately, the rider is... Yeah, he never finishes that. So it's the horse race, and now everybody's looking away. That's kind of funny. Okay, the second race is about to start. All participants should come to the gate. When I push A here, the winner of the race gets determined by the game. So, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to... Actually, no, I'm not going to save state. If I lose, I lose. That's fine. On your mark, get set. If I save stated there, I could ensure that I won. So, I'm rooting for blue. And again, lower, the lower the number, like, that is next to the person on the screen, the higher chance they have at winning. Oh, I don't think I won, actually. I think Gray pulled ahead at the very last second. Winners are first place, Brocco. Yep. And Oki won second. I don't get any medals for that. Oh, darn it, it was the times 21 won as well. Shoot. If I'd bet on the 21 one, I would have been a very rich. Oh, snap! So I think green is the green ranch horse. So I guess what I could do, I could put a little money on everybody and ensure I win, actually. So I could put 77 medals down last time. 77 divided by six. Oh, let's see, that roughly comes out to be a little less than 13 on each horse. I want to get a front row seat, the potion shop dealer. Move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move, darn it! Hey, you. Yeah, you, up front. Get out of my way. <laughs> Third race is about to start. All participants should come to the gate. On your mark. Get set. I'm cool if anybody winning. It would be great if white or black won, though. Looks like Star C is going to take the win. They're at the finish line. And the winners are first place, Star C. Second place, Taraba. So in this case, I get 13 times 5, 65 medals. Cool. Not terrible. 
That's the end of the races for today. Please exchange your medals for gifts. So if we talk to the mayor, this is the prize counter. We use the same medals at the horse race and the dog race. Do you want to make an exchange? So there are three different things for sale. There's a new stable. Don't get excited. It literally just changes the color of the roof of your already existing stable from blue to red. So that's very expensive. There's a stuffed horse, which basically puts a stuffed, like, toy horse in your room, which is pretty cute. And then the satining carrot, which is a special item that does absolutely nothing. Well, these are all out of our price range, but that's okay because we've got the bag of medals now, and this will carry over to the other horse races and dog races. So next race we go to, we will have 65 medals to start. And unlike other festivals, it just doesn't end the day. We can go home. And more importantly, we can go forage for stuff in the forest. I want the monies, I want the monies, I want the cash monies. I kind of wish there was a run button. I wish you could go a little faster than you do in the game, mainly because it literally, like, his farm is really close to the village. Like, really close. No! You just ate 70 G there. But I guess my fatigue went down a bit, so that's not a huge deal. So tomorrow, it's going to be the 18th. The 18th of spring. So I can buy seeds. So tomorrow, all of my cabbages will be grown. Except for the ones in the middle. So I will be able to plant new seeds, which will be nice. I'm trying to think. So cabbages take seven days to grow. Which means that if I water them every day, they will be fully grown on the 25th. Because 18 plus... Or 8 plus 7 is 15. Or so... 18 plus 7 would be 25. So after that, potatoes take 6 days to grow, so that would not work out. They would, it would be too late. So I'm going to buy potatoes, because those take 6 days to grow, which means they will be ready on the 14th, which means I can harvest them, then plant new potatoes, which will be fully grown on the 30th. So doing that, I will be able to get the maximum amount of profit that I can. Because I could, hypothetically, I could plant turnips, after my cabbages grew, but I think potatoes will be better in the long run. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a game with spelling errors, a TV whose fourth channel doesn't work, and a watering can that wells up by using it. I'm always a fan of- Oh! This guy! This is a brand new NPC who appears on the 18th of spring. Uh, if you have a health restoring item, like, say, an egg, or just anything you can eat, give it to him. Actually, hang on. If we talk to him, oh, I'm hungry. So if we give it to him, whew, I'm alive again. Thanks, you're a nice guy. I'm Cliff, pleased to meet you. Oh, that is a boss bird. That's Kane. He's my mate. We're going to Moon Mountain. See you later. So this is Cliff, brand new NPC, and he's actually one of the five main bachelors who are your rivals. He will marry Anne if you don't marry Anne. Kind of interesting. Also, you, uh, if you don't give him any food, don't worry, he doesn't die. It's just if you give him food here, you boost his affection, like, by an incredible amount. Like, so, so, so a little backstory, in a previous playthrough of this, I gave him something to eat on that first day. And, like, I talked to him if I saw him in the mountains, and if he was, like, right next to a patch of flowers, which he usually is, I would give them to him. But I didn't really, like, make an effort to be friends with him. I was apparently, like, best friends with him. Like, seriously, he was, like, giving me free fish. Uh, he, like, went at, like, a dance, he, like, traded partners with me so I could dance with the girl I wanted to. And, like, when he became Harvest King in the Hot Air Balloons Festival in the second year, he need to be in the hard air balloon with him even though I, I hardly befriended him at all and he could have chosen his girlfriend <laughs> it was amazing oh man we're gonna make so much money today because zach's gonna come by at the end of the day and get all of the cabbages i deposited today and yesterday hey cliff i heard you run a farm by yourself that's great i heard a story about a blue bird in this mountain which brings happiness Oh, the Blue Bird of Happiness, yeah! That's a thing. Hello! Oh, I can speak it! Yeah, you can. 
Here, take this piece of grass that was growing right next to you that I had to pick up and give to you, so you have to be better friends with me! Harvest Moon Logic. Harvest Moon Logic, the best way to befriend somebody is to give them a gift every single day. Honestly, you'll become a burden if you do that in real life. Oh boy. There we go. I make a wish into this pond that I might have my heart's desire. To you. Oh, um, uh, to you. <laughs> okay, now that was just comical. Hey there. You know, Basil named Poppery. She was born the day before the flower festival. But he was calling her that here that long before she was even born. Talking to NPCs, you can learn some of the girls' birthdays. If you give a girl a gift on their birthday, it will boost their affection level much more than it would on a normal day, which is uh, interesting to know. Those are potato seeds. Let's buy four of them. Potatoes are great. Potatoes are like the ultimate vegetable in real life. Like, they are perfect. I've never had a bad potato. Hi, Ellie! Artie, uh, I forgot to tell you my name. Call me Ellie, Ellie okay? <laughs> and it only took me like 10 get of fiends of flowers to get you to actually introduce yourself. I'll rest when you're tired, okay? But hey, that means she's, uh, her affection is getting boosted. And she's saying different stuff now. Hi, Rick. All right, Rick Moranis. Work me a miracle. Here's some grass. Oh, uh, thanks. Yes! That music box seems to have rusted up. Here, let's see it. Mm, oil it here, tighten it there, and there you go. So, you know, this melody's a love song you give to a girl. Yeah, it is. Sorry my shop's closed so often. I know I could buy the brush, but I'm saving my money. Because the flower festival has some really good stuff there. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Oh, what a pretty music box. It has a wonderful sound. Very soothing. Here, you can have it. For me? Really? Thank you very much. I'll take very good care of it. Okay, Maria, I just want to say right now, Maria probably has the widest range of facial expressions out of any character in the game, and they're all so good. They really show a lot of emotion. I'd be happy if you visited the library between jobs. I've only done it like ten times. Alright, it's almost five o'clock. So when five o'clock hits, even though Zack has not actually reached my shipping bin yet, he will, he will have already removed all the stuff and paid me for it. So inserting new stuff in the bin after Zack has moved on screen but hasn't reached the bin yet will not do anything until the next day. Yep. <laughs> Man, Jack apparently buried quite a few music bo broken music boxes <laughs> there in his youth. Kind of, kind of a weird thing, you know? Just, just a little weird. I still need to figure out who I actually want to marry in this run. So I'm just gonna say this right now: not marrying Papori. I need to stop calling her that. Not marrying Papori. That's that much I know, because there's no way I'm getting her to a pink heart before necessary. I'm not going to marry Karen. I, I'm not a fan of Karen. I've done it before. Not eager to do it again. I am, however, perfectly willing to marry Maria, Ellie, or Anne. I have done all of those girls before, actually. But I haven't gotten them all to the end. Actually, I've gotten no girl to the end. I've never made it to the end of this game. So that'll be interesting. I have done research on it, which is how I know so much about the ending, though. So there's that. And on that note, that's where we're ending the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Arty. If you want to voice your input on which girl I should marry, then please leave a note in the comments. Although, there's a decent chance that by the time this video is uploaded, I will already have recorded far enough in advance that I've already decided who I'm going to marry. I think right now I'm leaning towards Maria, just because she's one of my favorite girls. But Ellie's also up there, and so is Anne, to be perfectly honest. Well, I like all three of those girls, although it's just, man, it looks so young, it's kind of weird. Anyways, let me know, I hope you're enjoying the series, and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and as always, God bless.